a Washington state man has been charged with the 1987 murder of a Canadian couple after police said he was outed by the same genealogy technology that led to the capture of alleged Golden State killer Joseph James D'Angelo. Two counts of aggravated first-degree murder were filed against William Talbot 255 in Washington's Snohomish County Superior Court on June 15. Talbot is accused of murdering Tanya Van Kalenberg, 18, and Jay Cook, 20, a couple who disappeared and were found dead during a trip to Seattle area in November 1987. Talbot was arrested on May 18. He appeared in court Tuesday to plead not guilty to the charges. Authorities said that they discovered Talbot's suspected connection to Van Kalenberg and Cook's murders after working with a genealogist who used information from GEDMIT, which gathers DNA profiles from public genealogy websites and matched it to crime scene DNA, according to CBS News. At the time of the Canadian couple's death, Talbot was said to be working as a delivery driver in Seattle. His route took him through an area of the city that the couple had intended to visit, according to court documents, the Daily Herald reported. Police said that on the night of November 18, 1987, Cook and Van Kalenberg drove their van to the Seattle area from their Sonich, British Columbia, home on a short overnight trip. Van Kalenberg's body was found a week later, on November 24, in a ditch in rural Skagit County, Washington, with a subsequent investigation finding evidence she had been raped and then shot to death, execution style, from less than two inches away. An autopsy determined she had been killed on November 19. Cook's body was found on November 26, 50 miles away from Van Kalenberg's body. He was covered in a blue blanket and detectives said he was strangled and beaten to death with rocks. Cook and Van Kalenberg was said to have been random targets. All potential leads in the double homicide case had long been extinguished until DNA evidence from the 31-year-old crime scene was placed in a public genealogy database called Jedmich. The database, controlled by a company called Parabone Nanolabs, consisted of DNA samples from 100 crime scenes and was capable of finding matches with people determined to have familial ties with potential suspects. The significant matches were at about the second cousin level, Parabone genealogist Cease Moore told reporters at a press conference following Talbot's arrest, according to BuzzFeed News. Share this article Share more had to establish family tress of the great-grandparents of the people whose DNA profiles matched with evidence found at the crime scene. She then looked into the descendants of these people, finding that the family trees converged on a couple who had only one son, William Earl Talbot II. Armed with this knowledge, police then put Talbot under surveillance. When a paper cup fell off his truck in early May, they swabbed it and sent it off for DNA testing. Talbot's coffee cup DNA was said to have been a match to the DNA collected three decades ago at the Canadian's murder scenes. Prior to his arrest, Talbot had not been a suspect in the murders. Cook's sister, Laura Bonstra, later told BuzzFeed News that she's hopeful her family will finally get closure after waiting 31 years. Detective work has sure come a long way in 30 years, Bonstria added. Since Talbot's arrest, former friends have emerged, telling authorities that they remembered about Talbot that year, including one former roommate who said he saw a van, like Cook and Van Kalenberg's bronze-colored Ford Club wagon, which the killer had taken, at Talbot's parents' home in 1987. The van was later found in Bellingham, Washington, if convicted of the murders, Talbot will face life in prison. So-called Golden State killer Joseph James D'Angelo, suspected of committing more than 50 rapes and a dozen murders in the 70s and 80s, was arrested in April 2018 after authorities using Jedmich were able to match some crime scene DNA with publicly available DNA. A familial link eventually led to D'Angelo 